Cloud Barn in Coffs Harbour is where we is at right now with the Jayco Toaster Coaster pulling up here. Check Look at our shoes. Out our clogs. Now these are mean machines right here. We're going to be learning how to make these things plus sampling some Dutch food coming up. The reason we're here is of course because we're on an Australia-wide road trip. If you want to get out and experience it, head to campingkids.com.au. We'll see you soon. Um, now, John from the Clog Barn here in Coffs Harbour, are we actual giants or are these little buildings? These are just little buildings. These are 1 20th to scale, to scale from the buildings in Holland. So they're exact replicas. Now, how long did it take for you to build these or did you build them? My father built these models. He started back in 1984. It took him about 15 years to get them to this stage. And now we're always repairing them and just looking after them all the time. Making now, them brand spanking new, <laughs> I love that. How many, how many buildings do we actually have here? Probably about 70, I'd say. Wow. I've never really counted them. <laughs> well, we can do that yeah. for you later, don't worry about that. <laughs> now, do you have your favourite, John? Yeah, the Anna Frank house is really beautiful. It comes out of Amsterdam. The whole Amsterdam scene that we've got there really got a, it's really got great feeling, yeah. And yes. how did your father actually make them? Did he model them off pictures or did he just go get a free trip to Amsterdam out of it? He did a couple of trips to Amsterdam, it wasn't free, but he took photographs. Uh, then we used books and, and, and nowadays you can get on the net, Google the images. Good old World Wide Web, yeah. gotta love that. Now I have seen a couple of water dragons running around. Are there massive dragons in Holland? No, not like the ones we've got here anyway, in scale. <laughs> well look, at night when you You've gone home, the lights are turned off, there's no one around. Like Toy Story, are there little people that walk out and you know go on their nightly business? I just can't say. Ooh, Ghost stories. Maybe there's a bit of a secret there. Yeah. Now, can I please ask, do you speak Dutch? No, I don't. The only Dutch I speak is a word's called Klein Beecher, which means I don't speak Dutch. Klein Your Beecher. father would be so disappointed, John. Now, of course, we have to ask the question, where can the toasters head to if they want to find out any more information about your beautiful clog barn here? Yeah, let's go to www.clogbarn.com.au. Also right. on the World Wide Web. Yeah. Now, do you sometimes, if you want to feel like a giant, just walk around and pretend you're like Godzilla? Yeah, occasionally I get the mood. <laughs> Ever yeah. kick down any buildings? No, I wouldn't do that. No. I'd get in too much trouble. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, thank you so much, John. I believe right. next up you're going to give us some Dutch food to sample. Is this correct? That's it. I'm excited about that, Toasters. Don't you dare go anywhere. The Jayco Toaster Coaster has pulled up to another secret destination. Secret, I'm lying. We're at the Clog Barn in Coffs Harbour again. Now look, we checked out the miniature village out the back, but right now we're here with John and we're talking Dutch food. Now what do we have in front of us here, John? Got a couple of different Dutch pancakes that we do. Uh, that's, well, actually, that's a Canadian one, but still, it's on the top of a Dutch pancake. Sure. <laughs> so now it's Dutch, fair enough. And what, what about this one over here? Well, this is a Dutch apple and raspberry type, type one. Oh, delicious. Now, can I please ask, what's the difference to a Dutch pancake compared to a fresh crepe? So crepe is very thin, yeah. and the Dutch pancake's thick, nice and thick. I can oh, appreciate. Ah, oh, like a cake. And there okay. you go. There you go. Okay, well, look, it's time mm -hmm. for us to sample these things, John. Now, can I ask, does your family just get this type of food thrust upon them? Like, can they just not eat anything else? Well, we get stuck with this every lunchtime. This is it. <laughs> is Got to eat do. ice cream, whether you do like you it or like not. It, or you secretly like a bit of a dessert person instead? No, I like a bit of savoury stuff, but we do those as well. We do a savoury pancake as well. And what type there of Dutch go. food is there out there? You've got things like little poffages, like little tiny pancakes, and then you've got um, uh, croquettes and frigadellas, which are little, like a Dutch sausage, oh, right. savoury sort of stuff. And what's your favourite type of Dutch food there, John? Oh, I think the croquettes, probably. The croquettes, sounds like a game that we play here, hey? Oh, I'm going to get oh into this. Oh my goodness, it absolutely tastes so sensational right there. Mm. Is oh my wine, goodness. John. Now, how long does it take for the girls to whip up one of these? Are they well trained? Oh, they're very well trained, yeah. <laughs> probably five to ten minutes, they can scoot you up a bit of a dish. Beautiful Ooh. work. Now, I believe, next up, John, we're going to be talking about clogs and how you make them. What? And I believe, can what I have your foot right now? Uh, what are we talking about here? This guy wears some. Look at that. How, how old are these babies? These are about, oh, about five months old, those ones. Yeah, five well, get them away from my old. food there, John. Oh, Come on, wait, wait a second. <laughs> you make them? I will. Yeah, I do. Oh my gosh, that is very exciting. Well, I'm going to keep eating this toast. Please do not go anywhere, because next up we're making some shoes. Ooh. 
Many thanks to our Jayco Tosa Costa for bringing us right here to the Clog Barn in Coffs Harbour. Now, John, you must be sick of us, but we're not done with you yet. I hope you know that. Are you okay with it? Are you okay with it? I'm fine. <laughs> now, what I'm excited for, okay, we're about to make some uh, clogs, but out of this, how on earth do you turn this block of wood into that shoe right there? What we've got to do, we've got a machine on this side. That machine will spin the block and that'll get the outside shape happening. Once we've done that, scoot across the other side over here to the machine that hollows the inside out and then it's a matter of just trimming the front and the back and we're done. So there's only two yep. machines, how long does that process take? The two machines, probably about three or four minutes. And you've wow. got a shoe. Yeah, take that work. Nike. Now I am wearing one of the shoes right now. They're cool clogs. Thank you. Now why <laughs> do you actually wear them in Holland? What's the significance of these shoes? They keep your feet warm and dry. So they're worn by farmers and guys working in factories anywhere where the ground's cold and wet. And they're certified proper work shoes as well. In Holland they are, yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Now look, let's talk yep. about these ones in front of us. They're very ornate, they're very intricate. Mm -hmm. Why is that? They're a wedding pair. If a guy wanted to marry a girl, he used to create the best looking clogs to show what sort of husband he was going to make. Really? So uh, nowadays we look at cars, you know, Mercedes, Benzes, yep, yep. Audis, all the rest of it. Back then it was all about, all about shoes. shoes. It's all about the shoes. When you're Fair making enough. it, do you sing Elvis's wooden carved shoes? Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. I'll, uh, I'll stop my singing. Anyway, yeah. hey, look, where can the toes go if they want to find out any more about you guys? Just go to www.blogbarn.com.au. Excellent work. Beautiful work, John. Look, we're going to be rid of you now, but we're not rid of you, Toasters. Stick around. Welcome back to Toaster TV and we have been running around Mini Holland all day at the Clog Barn in Coffs Harbour, clogbarn.com.au. If you want to find out any more details, Kellen Morris is a great lifestyle that I'm living right now. It is a great lifestyle. You're living the camping and caravaning lifestyle indeed. If you want to be a part of it, you can. Guess what? Head to campingforkids.com.au for any more information about it. There's tips on there. Oh. There's competitions on the website. You can actually win a comp to stay at the Big Four North Star, which is very exciting very stuff. Exciting. Yes, and we are also giving away prizes, Facebook dot com forward slash toasted if you want to win one. Beautiful work and thanks of course to our Jayco Toaster Coaster oh. for getting us here. Who knows where we'll be tomorrow? Seamus Evans. You never know. You'll have to watch us. We'll see you then. Have a great day. Yeah, bye now.